got our Mopar chain on the left and our comp cams severe duty chain on the right. We were going to compare the two, we did some measurements. <clears throat> the comp cam is a little thicker. The comp, they're running 39 and 40 thousandths on those side plates. <clears throat> Mopar is running, let's see, 35, 33, ooh, 33, okay. A little bit of variation there, 34, so actually 36, so, uh, but 39 to 40, so it's just those, those side plates are thicker. <clears throat> and that's what holds everything together, is those side yeah. plates, okay. The uh, the links, not so much difference there. Seventy nine there, seventy nine, seventy eight on that one. Seventy nine. That's Mopar. <clears throat> seventy nine, seventy eight. The uh, comp. Okay, hold on. Get up there on it. shows 88 wow that's a fair amount thicker okay uh, let's see if we can get a measurement on the bottom side of those no it's all on the top side so still it's 88 to 89 that's a lot of thickness there it has to be more consistent too yeah it's hard to, well it is it's hard to get the measure but i think you're doing pretty good let's try the middle well you can't get on the middle one but this is not it's like Ten thousand difference in thickness. Now, let's look. Uh, just getting two of these side by side. If you can just, uh, it's not get the light just right there. Right there, it's pretty obvious that that link, the comp over here, on the uh, right, let's see right in. It, it appears to be thicker. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's definitely. Just a thicker link. Can you measure overall. Okay. The thing is now, overall thickness. We're getting about 351 there. Let's do another one. 350, 355. 351 must have been an outlier, or maybe I wasn't on it just right. But yeah, 354. 354, 355. Yep. Okay, so All the way. 354, 355. And uh, 340. Wow, that's three. I can't, I can't get on that real good. Also, it's like. 339. So let's try another one here. 3. 339. And it's quite a variation. There's a 343, and that's actually pretty darn accurate right there. So, but anyway, you're seeing. We had what, 355 here and 340? 343 there. max and less. Uh, there's 339 also. Okay. That's, this, this varies a lot more, and you're looking at at least 10,000, maybe even more. That, that this is wider. Well, I know this has overall. been a pretty good chain. I've not is had that, any issues with that. Yeah. But you, know, you you have the space here for the wider chain. Yeah. And you know the the, the distance in the links. I get it on there. I mean it. It fits on perfectly, and it's. You know, so yeah. it's just this width here doesn't touch anything. It's right. just it's just beefier. Yeah, the measurements were more consistent too. I mean, yeah, it's this is beef. plus or minus on the thickness of these, like three or four thousandths or maybe five even. This was plus or minus one or two thousandths, which if I were designing the chain, that's kind of what I would be shooting for. This video is in no way intended to bash or disparage the Mopar chain. 
as it has served me well for many years and I do believe it's the go-to chain in many high horsepower applications. It's only intended to provide a direct and honest comparison between the two parts so that you and others can make an educated purchase the next time you're in the market for these items. With that being said, I usually like to stay with genuine Mopar parts as I do feel they're better than most of the stuff out there, but occasionally there are aftermarket upgrades. This appears to be one of those instances as this chain is beefier in almost all aspects. The only thing in question of course is the material composition. We can only hope that it's as good if not better than the Mopar chain. Only time will tell. As always, thanks for watching.